Are you here? Ha <laughs> ha yes, you are. It's time for a record review of the new Willie Nelson album, I Don't Know a Thing About Love, which features 10 songs written and co-written by the great Harlan Howard. Paul? I answered this question, who is Willie Nelson? So now I get to ask you, who is Willie Nelson? <laughs> well, he changes all the time. <laughs> it's hard to pin him down. Hey, folks. As Willie Nelson said, he changes all the time. Thankfully for all of us, he documents these changes in his focus and moods through his many albums, all the while being very true to this character so many have come to love and know, Willie. Less than two months away from his 90th birthday, one of the world's greatest singers and artists, Willie Nelson, released another album, I Don't Know a Thing About Love, The Songs of Harlan Howard. By the way, the illustration, the, the album cover, Micah Nelson, Willie's son, is the one who drew that. Harlan Howard, or as he was known, Mr. Songwriter, was almost supernatural in his ability to write songs. Harlan loved songs and wrote more than 4,000 of them. Some of his most well-known include I Fall to Pieces, Heartaches by the Number, and Busted. Something I love about Willie Nelson is his reverence and admiration for songwriters. It may seem abundantly apparent, but without songwriters, there wouldn't be any songs. Willie's done entire albums, each consisting of only the songs of Chris Christopherson, George and Ira Gershwin, Cindy Walker, and this new record of Harlan Howard songs is especially welcome. Few have done what Willie Nelson has in terms of keeping classics alive. From classic country to the great American songbook, the songs on I Don't Know a Thing About Love were almost all first recorded in the 1960s. But as a testament to how good these songs are, they don't even feel a little old. Back again as producer of the record is Willie's friend Buddy Cannon. This is the 16th time Buddy Cannon has produced or co-produced a Willie Nelson record. Willie and Buddy Cannon have worked together on pretty much all of the albums of the last 11 years. Here are all the albums that Buddy Cannon produced or co-produced for Willie Nelson. It's clear that the reason for Buddy Cannon and Willie Nelson's fruitful output is that they understand music in the same way. When they work together... It always feels like the songs, no matter how old, are made new. I had the chance to talk with Buddy Cannon a couple of times. I was reminded of what he said about producing Willie Nelson the first time we spoke. Yeah, I mean, he's the best. I have so much respect for his. I remember hearing him on back in the 60s. He did some of the most bizarre arrangements, up real up-tempo, fast Western swing songs and just completely uh, had his way with the melody. You know, I mean, <laughs> somebody who had not heard the songs before wouldn't know they were the same songs. He, it was a jazz interpretation of the song, you know. And I somehow I understood what he was doing back then. Uh, he's a pleasure. I mean, he's just the best to work with. He just, uh, we have a... I guess a mutual respect for each other, and he'll do any, he'll sing, you know, he'll do whatever I ask him to. I never ask him to do anything that isn't fun, you know. And we just have a great time when we're in the studio. I Don't Know a Thing About Love is a great time, too, from track one to ten. The record begins with the rollicking Tiger by the Tail, made famous by Buck Owens, who co wrote the song with Harlan Howard. The song was inspired by, of all things, a gas station sign. Some of my favorite parts of the album are a bit more weepy. Life Turned Her That Way is a song that resonated with many country singers through the years, starting with Little Jimmy Dickens and later Charlie Pride and George Jones, among others. Willie sings it so soulfully, just full of emotion. This was his second time recording Life Turned Her That Way. He did it as a duet with Farron Young back in 1985. Relatively speaking, the playful but pensive title track, I Don't Know a Thing About Love, is a more recent Harlan Howard song. The imaginative lyrics are great. Sometimes known as the moon song, 
It suits Willie Nelson perfectly. There are only a couple of singers that I would even dream of having a conversation with the man in the moon. The record closes with a somewhat obscure song, Beautiful Annabelle Lee, originally recorded by Burl Ives, then Waylon Jennings. It's dreamy and poetic. It almost feels like Willie Nelson singing a lullaby to you. Willie Nelson's latest album, I Don't Know a Thing About Love, fills my heart up. We know that Harlan Howard wouldn't want it any other way. As he once said about the country music fans who listened to and loved his music, you make my heart feel real good. Well, I think I speak for a lot of people through the years. Right back at you, Harlan. Thanks for watching. Until next time.